So today we're going to be doing female catheterization. So we've got our sterile trolley set up ready with all of our equipment and then in terms of patient position we need to put them on their backs, their legs, um, hips bent, knees bent and then place their knees apart so we can get access to the genital area. So the first thing I'm going to do is wash my hands and then put my sterile gloves on. So now we're ready to clean the area. So using a bit of sterile gauze to hold the labia minora apart. Got some cotton wool balls with some normal saline, your galley pot. Then you're going to clean the area in single downward strokes, placing the cotton wool in the bin each time. And you continue this until the area is clean. Okay. So now I'm going to put that gauze in the bin and take these gloves off. Wash my hands again. And then put my second set of gloves on. So we have a sterile drape that we can place over the patient's legs. Which has a hole in the middle. We can use. And then placing our kidney dish on top of that drape in between the patient's legs. So next we're going to numb the area using some Instilla gel. So just placing a small amount on the drape, the sterile field to use to lubricate the tip of the catheter. And then using your gauze again to hold the labia major minora apart, you just insert a small amount into the urethra. And then place that syringe in the bin. So you let that work for a few minutes before placing the catheter in. So opening the tip up, just dipping that in that leftover instilla gel, and then you can insert the catheter into the urethra. and you should start to see some urine flowing. So remove this. So we should get urine into the pot. So the next stage is to place the bag onto the end, catch any further urine, and then you have a second syringe here with water in to inflate the balloon. Okay. And then you can just gently pull, pull back on the catheter, it should remain in place. Removing the gauze, 
and then you can remove the drape as well and the kidney dish by just tearing it. And then the catheter bag itself. So you want to attach that down to the side of the bed and then measure the residual volume and obviously re recover the patient at this point. <laughs>